Hello, in this one we're going to look at passing information from the editor into scripts, and then we're going to look at passing information from scripts to scripts. Uh, it's pretty simple stuff actually. Um, and what I'm going to do is quickly create a quick mission, and I'm going to put myself down as a playable blue 4 unit. Next I'm going to put a trigger down, and that trigger is going to be a simple blue 4 present, and when I walk into it it's going to be triggered. Then I'm going to write null equals uh, null, well the th thing left of the equals sign is a name and it doesn't matter what it's called for me in this instance so I'm just saying null and that's just a scripting way of saying it doesn't matter what this is called. I'm going to put some square brackets I'm going to put execute vm and then I'm going to open some quotation marks and put my script dot sqf and a semicolon at the end there. The part we're interested in is the part in between these two square brackets here and that's the information that's going to be passed from the trigger to the script and the way it works is pretty simple if you want a number for example let's write 20 that is now the first part of the array so in between the square brackets is an array um, we could, for example, put text in there as well, or a name, and text and names goes in quotation marks, uh, whereas numbers do not. So let's put I love armor in the second part. And the last part, again, I can just put a number, let's say three, for example. And that now is going to execute the script, my script.sqf, which is in the mission folder. and it's going to be usable in the script. So I'm going to press OK. I'm going to save the mission as in Intel at passing information and I'm going to press OK. What I'm going to do now is just tab out the game. So now that we're on my desktop I'm going to start doing some scripting. I'm going to use Notepad++. Uh, you can use Notepad, which is a program you get when uh, you install Windows, so everybody should have it that's playing Armour. And that's under uh, All Programs, Accessories, and it's somewhere in there in your Start menu. I'm going to use Notepad++, and that's just because I can zoom in. Uh, so I'm just going to zoom in a bit and start typing. So, um, if we just remember back to the square brackets, we had three bits of information. I'm going to use a command called select and that's going to get that information into the script. So uh, the first thing I need to do is think of a name. So I'm just going to, uh, any name doesn't matter what it is. My information equals underscore this select zero. And that's going to get the first bit of our information, which was the number 20. So the number 20 is now called my information. I'm just going to switch on SQF extensions here so we can have a color because I like color in the scripts. Um, the next bit of information was uh, that bit of text in the quotation marks that says I love armor and we're going to say my text equals underscore this select one and that's now getting the second part of our array so all that information can is now called my text it doesn't matter what you call it remember and the last thing was the number three so I could even call this the number three equals this select two and that's now getting the third part of our array in our trigger um, so that's it We've now got all this information from our trigger into the script. A really good thing to give you a bit of feedback is the hint command. I'm sure you all know that. Uh, if you write hint and then format after it, and then open a couple of square brackets, you can uh, now get information feedback on your script that's quite useful by having quotation marks. And in that quotation marks is all your speech. And I'm going to write percentage one percentage 2, percentage 3, and then I'm going to a couple of uh, commas after that. And I'm just going to copy 
all these names for the bit of information into there. And that means percentage 1 will now be the value that my information is. So that'll be 20. My text will say I love armor. And the number 3 will be the number 3. Alright, so I'm going to save this as my script dot sqf and I'm going to put that on the desktop for now and I'm going to press close so there's my script I'm going to go into documents I'm sure you all know how to do this but uh, documents my player other profiles my player profile name missions and I'm going to look for intel at passing information which is there and I'm just going to drag my script into that and I'm going to tap back into the game and now that we're back in the editor, uh, we're just going to hit preview and walk into this trigger. And hopefully all the information uh, passed here, so 20 I love armor and free, will be displayed in the top right corner as a hint. So hit preview. Oh shit, nearly not to drink over. Um, going to run <laughs> forward. And there we go, we can see in the top right corner, 20 I love armor and free. So all that information has been passed into the script, which is great. Uh, I'm just going to tab back out, and we're going to look at passing information from a script to a script this time. And now that we're on my desktop again, I'm going to look at this my script.sqf once more. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass my text, and I'm going to pass a new value to the script. Um, so my new value equals so that's going to be my new thing and i'm going to use the number three and then i'm going to times that by my information so three times 20 equals 60 is my new value uh, the number three times my information and then a semicolon and then once again we're going to do uh, null equals square brackets exc vm my script dot sqf and we're going to change that to number two so my script s my script two dot sqf and the two pieces of information we're going to pass across are my text doesn't need a quotation marks this time um, and the second thing we need is my new value in there so my new value and my text are going to be passed along so I love armor and the number sixty. I'll press save there, and what I'm going to do is just copy and paste this. I'm going to rename it to my script 2 and I'm going to open my script 2. Now I'm going to change this to something 1, something 2, and I'm going to delete all the things I don't need. I'm going to delete the percentage free because we only got two values this time. And these values at the end of the hint format in their place, I'm going to write something one and something two. And hopefully now it's going to display those values. I'm also going to put a sleep command in here. So sleep five seconds. So it's going to display the first hint that we saw when we previewed last time. Then after five seconds, it's going to display I love armor and the number 60. And here I'm going to press save. And I'm going to close all these windows down. And we're going to hit jump back into the editor. And we're going to press preview. And we're going to walk forward. Okay, so there's our first hint again. Wait five seconds. And then I love armor 60. I hope that's been useful to you. Thanks for watching. Um, if you have anything you'd like to add, uh, feel free to drop it in the comments because by no means am I an expert on these sort of things. And if you have any questions, I'll try my best to answer them. But again, I'm not <laughs> no expert in these things. Um, so until next time, goodbye.